It's High Noon with David. He's gone and fallen in love with Jesus and bringing boldness to the body of Christ. Here's David. Hi. Welcome to High Noon with David. I'm here to bring you a gift. Gift of boldness. Talking to two, two of you. Those of you that are believers and those of you that are about to become believers. I'm sharing my life story. Last time I shared, it's 3 o'clock in the morning and I got my prayer language started in, in unknown tongues and it was Bobo Mashosho. And I said, oh, that don't sound like anything. And my, you know, <laughs> my mind's just going crazy. Well, let me tell you something about your mind. Your mind will tell you to hit the snooze button on your alarm clock 17 times. And then finally you realize you're going to be late for work and you jump up and you're racing down the road breaking the speed limit. And the same mind that told you to hit the snooze button, you, you need to rest. That same mind will tell you, you should have, should have got your butt up. You can't trust that sucker. The only way it can be trusted is when it's renewed to the word and your spirit is stronger than your mind and your body. Hope you're listening to me. So I'm back and forth. I'm back and forth. I'm up and I'm down. I'm swirling all around. Oh, that's just me. Well, the reason I was having a problem because my mind wasn't renewed to what the Word says about it. Hope you're listening to me. Hope you're listening to me. Yeah, I minister, I've ministered to some politicians, a governor once, people in the, in the medical industry who have just such high intellect, and I respect them for doing all that study, and I have great respect for doctors and nurses and and. and attorneys and people that have just studied and learned and I have the greatest respect but but if you if you educate your mind at the expense of your spirit you're missing it oh there's a lot of educated people in hell that would love to be in my shoes oh I, I, I know that I know that I know where I'm going when I die to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord for a believer now listen to me I looked around, I mean, I felt like a fool. I felt like a fool, but that scripture kept coming to me. It says, David, trust me with your whole heart and lean not to thine own understanding. People say, oh, Dad, your mind and your spirit's the same thing. No, they're not. The Bible talks about spirit, soul, and body. Your spirit is you. You are a spirit. You have a mind, which is your, 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 you have a soul, which is your mind, will, and emotions. And then you live in a body. They're going to put your body in the ground when you, when you die, and your spirit's going to leave here that has a mind. And it's amazing to me. A friend of mine's brother got born again. Always oh, in all kind of trouble. And he said, well, and he's in jail right now, and he's, he's got permission to call his brother, who's a dear friend of mine, and have a Bible study for seven minutes every night. And he says, he says, Ed, <clears throat> all I got is the Old Testament. He said, he, the old, all you got is the Old He said, yeah, all I got is the Old Testament. He, he was shocked that his brother didn't know. He said, turn over to the back and start reading to me the books that are back. He said, well, there's Acts, there's Romans. He said, no, you got both of them. <laughs> It's amazing how little people know. And then there's a, it's amazing how many people that know all this stuff and you can't get them to do anything with it. Oh, that's well, that, well, works. That ain't grace. Oh, shut up. You can't separate grace from faith and you can't separate faith from grace. You're saved by grace through faith. It's impossible to please God without faith. It's not grace alone. It's by grace through faith. Ephesians 2, 8, 9. And there you go. <laughs> oh, listen to me real strong. Listen to me real strong. Say this after me. Say, Jesus is Lord. And I believe in my heart that God raised Jesus from the dead. Listen, Jesus loves you just like you are, unconditionally. You're blessed. We'll finish. have the best of the story tomorrow. Adios.